What is up YouTube? This is Rod from RP Model Railroads and in this video I have yet another epic unboxing from Aaron Anderson which can only mean one thing, more Effort of Valley Railroad custom train shells. So without further ado, we're going to crack this box open and see exactly what's in store. I am super excited for the contents of this box. In fact, it's probably one of the best boxes of all time, and I probably said this before because all of Aaron's work is uh, simply amazing, but uh, you'll soon see why I think this box probably takes the cake for one of the more awesome ones of all time. All right, sit this down here. Here we go, and I am going to remove the excess packaging off to the side, and I will have to clean up the layout. But Okay, no problemo. All right, let's see what we have. Thanks again, Aaron, for sending back my packing peanuts and paper shreds. It is much appreciated. Okay, here's a notice. Spray paint shops are now closed for the winter. We apologize for any inconvenience, but temperatures are just too cold for spray paint. The spray paint shops will be reopening in late spring 2022. We look forward to seeing you then. That's the official notice about that. Weather is changing, of course. And okay, cost analysis, I will definitely open that. Now let's get into the awesome stuff. All right, we're gonna start off with something really small here. And that is this. It's a custom Africa Valley Railroad, or I should just say Africa Valley Police Department, Tyco car. You can see up close here all the little details that uh, Aaron added to this thing, including the uh, bull bar in the front there, and also the headlights on top and the detail, 007, for the Effort of Alley Police Department. All completely hand-painted, I believe, and uh, an incredible amount of detail, I gotta say. This, uh, this old Camaro looks awesome, especially when it's done up in the Effort of Alley Police Department scheme. So, this looks awesome, and it's definitely gonna be going on the layout. Not sure which one yet, but it definitely will be going on there. Right. Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to move these off the side. I say this all the time, but of course it's well packed. All right, I am gonna have a big mess on my hands when I'm done here. Okay, oop, oop, hold on. Yet another custom Effort of Valley vehicle. Check this thing out. This is an Effort of Valley. Effort of Valley number six is a maintenance of way bulldozer. Made from a simple Tyco dozer. Check that out. That looks pretty, this is pretty legit, I have to say. This is pretty awesome. Made from a Tyco dozer. Awesome. This is either going to go on a maintenance away flat car or it's going to sit on the layout itself. But man, the amount of detail that uh, Aaron put into this thing, wow. Looks even more awesome in person. This is great. Okay, and we have some more small additions. Here we go. Another Effort of Valley maintenance away vehicle. This is a match, Matchbox dump truck. Now, of course, Matchbox is not, I mean, it's pretty close to HO scale. It isn't exactly HO scale, but from a distance, this thing is gonna look pretty awesome on the layout. So this is uh, a dump truck for the Effort of Valley Railroad with a uh, piece of railroad uh, track up there, piece of brass railroad that looks pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, so it's done up in the uh, black, yellow, and white maintenance of waste scheme for the Effort of Valley Railroad. Looks great. Let's make sure there's no more small surprises there. All right, I think now we're getting into some train stuff. More train stuff here. Oop. Here we go. Here is an old Effort of Valley wooden caboose, or wood style caboose, I should say. Pretty simple, basic, exactly how I like it in the uh, Heritage Red spray paint scheme, just with a simple Effort of Valley Black Diamond. It's uh, caboose number 10. This is gonna look awesome behind uh, a lot of my steam locomotives. So there's that. Then we have another caboose, I believe, yes. Take the uh, packing peanuts out here for the big reveal. All right, move that off to the side. Yeah, oh, just a few more, there we go. Yet another Effort of Valley Railroad plane 
plain Jane caboose and the Heritage Red scheme with a uh, yellow stripe and the black Effort of Valley diamond. Number 48 for the Effort of Valley Railroad, a plain old caboose. An old Bachman caboose, actually. This thing was in pretty bad shape before, so it looks way better now on the Effort of Valley scheme. So there's that. With some, oh, and while I'm here, I should mention with some uh, modifications due to the window. So you can see with the window there, Aaron put the Effort of Valley diamond around it. And of course, over here on this side, with the way the windows are positioned, he just put the stripe through them. So, looks awesome. And the silver details really bring this caboose to life as well. And we have another caboose for the Africa Valley Railroad. It is another old Tyco Coppola caboose. Africa Valley Railroad number 44. Check this out. Another plain heritage red caboose with a yellow stripe and the black Africa Valley diamond. I love this basic scheme. It looks way more realistic, even of course the Effort of Valley Railroad is not a real railroad, but this looks way more realistic in my opinion. I really like this and it's going to match the uh, first gen and the second gen Effort of Valley Railroad diesel locomotives and steam locomotives of course as well. All right, we have another, another caboose. Caboose is galore here. This is a specialized caboose. Another uh, custom Tyco Coppola caboose, Effort of Valley Maintenance of Way, number 13. So check this out. This has a little bit of a uh, extra addition up there with the uh, bars on the top there and on the walkway. But this is a caboose for the Effort of Valley Maintenance of Way team. All black with uh, white details, the white diamond logo, silver around the windows, which makes it look way better as well. And then you got yellow accents on the uh, handrails and the uh, rails on the side of the caboose. This thing looks awesome. All right, we've got a lot more to go, so I'm trying to go a little bit fast. Hope you guys can forgive me for that. Let's see, all right, we don't have anything there. All right, here we go with the locomotive shell. All right, peel the peanuts off of this. All right, oops. Go and uh, th thanks as well, Aaron. I'm not sure if I mentioned this before, but thanks for putting the uh, packing peanuts between the handrails and the shell. I appreciate it for uh, shipping purposes, so that they don't get bent in shipping. Because you can never know what happens with the never know what happens with the post office sometimes. All right, check this out. This is Effort of Valley number 5626. It is a Heritage Red, as I like to say, because that's the color of the spray paint. Heritage Red GP20. Check this out. So this has, of course, the typical white nose diesel scheme, and it also has other details as well, including a plow on the front of the GP20, and this is a Tyco GP20 shell, by the way. Number 5626, it has the has a yellow stripe down the side of the shell, a little bit different from some of my other Effort of Valley diesels. GP20 written there below the cab window, and uh, Effort of Valley spelled out on the side as opposed to the black diamond logo. This thing looks absolutely amazing. Absolutely awesome, and here's the rear of the locomotive. Looks fantastic. I can't wait to get this thing under its own power with some MU2 trucks. It's going to really look awesome on the layouts. And we have another locomotive shell here. Let's see? Oh yeah, I'm really excited about this one. Very, very excited for this. All right. This is. A GP30, Effort of Valley Railroad's first and only GP30. Peel the peanuts off in just a second. There we go. Okay. Peanuts everywhere. All right. Here is Effort of Valley Railroad's only GP30, number 1425. Check this out. So this has a lot of extra yellow accents on the shell which sets it apart from some of my other Effort of Valley Railroad diesels. A uh, yellow stripe that runs down the side of the locomotive, similar to the GP20, so it's got that similar sort of feel. It's got some silver accents, black of course, black accents, and of course the typical white nose. This thing looks phenomenal. I saw pictures of this, but in person, I am thoroughly impressed. And of course, take a look at the details on the roof. That just looks amazing. The fans, the cab roof is black. The uh, nose, a uh, little short chop nose roof there is black. This just looks absolutely amazing. I am totally in love 
with the GP30 scheme and the GP20 scheme. It's a little bit different from some of my other diesels, and I really like that with the effort of alley spelled out on the side. And I think the selling point of this uh, GP30, the best part about it is the nose of the locomotive. I just love the shape of GP30s, and uh, this just, it looks amazing in the effort of alley scheme. Awesome work, Aaron. I am totally impressed. Always impressed, but especially on that GP30. That thing looks amazing. Uh, this is... Okay, yeah, I know what this is. This is another piece of Effort of Valley Railroad Maintenance of Way equipment. The Maintenance of Way team grows with another formerly junk box car. Another junk, old junk Tyco box car. This is a Maintenance of Way generator car for the Effort of Valley Railroad Maintenance of Way team. Uh, this was actually an idea that uh, Aaron came up with. So this is a custom, like I said, junk Tyco 50 foot uh, box car was missing step ladders, which is what I mean by junk, and the paint was messed up. So, perfect candidate for uh, the effort of Valley Railroad, and just check out all the details on this thing. So you can see the uh, door there, the ladder, of course, and of course all the, the stickering and the lettering down the side. Of course, on the roof we have some interesting uh, things there, and then of course on this side we have two portholes that were added. And uh, yeah, so this is the uh, maintenance of way generator car for the effort of Valley Railroad. This thing looks looks awesome. Really, really awesome. And uh, like I said, this was all Aaron's idea, so thanks again to Aaron, and this will be in a video of the Effort of Valley Maintenance of Way team sooner or later. Can't wait to get that thing on a base. All right, and we have another Effort of Valley flat car. It is... Okay, this is Portland Cement. Uh, the idea for the name came from Aaron, but the... Uh, Paint, the spray paint job was done by me. Like a lot of these other shells were, I spray painted them first before sending them to him for the final details. But anyway, so it's just a plain Jane Portland cement brown uh, covered hopper here. Another old Tyco hopper. In fact, this was one that Aaron did way back that was a brush paint job that we actually, he agreed to redo once I spray painted it in this brown color. So uh, that's going to make a nice addition to the roster. And let's see what else we have. We've got a lot more to go. This boxing, unboxing is epic. Okay, yeah, this, all right, this one is gonna be awesome. You might notice the mountain of uh, packing materials there in the background, just, uh, yeah. I'm gonna have a mountain of packing materials that I'm definitely gonna keep. All right. Hold on. Uh, all right so without further ado here is the effort of valley railroad rs11 number 311 just check out check this thing out this is amazing the the, the detail on the side of the, of the uh, locomotive shell is just absolutely amazing here's the front of the locomotive with the uh of course the white slanted nose and the yellow details Looks absolutely amazing. And then we come around to this side. Man, this thing looks awesome. Got the details on the vents. And then the rear of the locomotive. And then there's the roof. Yeah, this just looks amazing. This RS-11, this thing looks awesome. And in fact, I have pictures of what this used to be. It was another derelict locomotive uh, before this got stripped and repainted into the Africa Valley uh, Railroad scheme. And this, just, this looks amazing. I am... Uh, thrilled beyond thrilled with how this thing turned out it looks absolutely amazing now i say that a lot but i'm always impressed always impressed okay this is a big locomotive shell here yes it is one second to pull this out oops okay here we go this is africa valley railroad Number nine, it's an E9 shell, Effort of Valley Railroad, number nine, an E9 locomotive. Check this out. So it has the usual heritage red scheme with uh, yellow accents. And then, of course, it's got silver details around the uh, uh, fans, etc., portholes. And then, of course, the uh, traditional white nose on the front. This thing looks amazing. Absolutely amazing. So it's uh, the Effort of Valley Railroad, E9, number nine. Yeah, wow, that looks awesome. All right, there's the E9. Probably one of my favorite shells so far behind the RS-11. And what do we have here? New Fairbanks Morse diesels for the Effort of Valley Railroad. Let's see, the Effort of Valley Railroad's trains will ride mighty far, fine 
behind brand new Fairbanks Morris Consolidated and Trainmaster diesel locomotives. Opposed piston horsepower will keep the EV moving smoothly. Great artwork, love that iron, definitely going to keep that. So we're about to get to the Fairbanks Morse chapter of the Effort Valley Railroad, or the chapter of this box anyway. All right, uh, let me see if I can grab the smaller one. You know what, no, I'm just going to go with this. I'm just going to go with this. These guys already got a hint from the paper. All right, here we go. Okay. All right. Here is the Effort Valley Railroad Trainmaster, or should I say the first of two Trainmasters, actually, number 2466. All right. This thing looks this thing looks amazing. So it's got the usual heritage red scheme with a uh, white nose, whoops, forgot about this one here. The white nose, and it's of course yellow details on the handrails and on the front of the locomotive. Number 2466, this train master looks amazing. This shell looks awesome. And of course, this was an Athern one, I picked it up, it was undecorated, and uh, so yeah, this looks absolutely amazing. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, and we do have another train master, Duck Bubble Rat. Unofficial sponsor of this video. Don't quote me on that. All right, and here we have the second Effort of Valley Trainmaster because I got a powered and uh, dummy undecorated Athern Trainmasters, powered and unpowered. So, gotta have a pair of them when you can find them, which is just great that Athern made them undecorated. Okay, here is number 2467, another Trainmaster. Of course, done up in the same scheme. Heritage red with a white nose, yellow accents on the handrails and around the locomotive and the rear of the locomotive. Two more shells to go. All right. Here is yet another Effort of Valley Railroad Sea Liner, number 202. This one is a little bit different from the other sea liner uh, that is in the Effort of Valley roster right now, mainly because of the uh, black nose here on the front of the locomotive, and uh, well, I should say the black top here and the black nose on the front of the sea liner. But this is an old AHM shell that I stripped the paint off because it was already in bad shape and decided to repaint it. And this thing, this will be a uh, dummy sea liner. The other AHM sea liner that I have for the Effort of Valley Railroad is powered. So now I have a uh, powered and dummy uh, Fairbanks Morse sea liner pair for the Effort of Valley Railroad. Okay, and all right, we have, I believe, one more locomotive in this batch. Drum roll, please. Okay. Uh, this is the Effort of Valley Railroad number 628. Whoops, I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, must have come off in the packing. Yes, it did. Okay, I don't know how that managed to break off, but uh, I'll glue that back on, no big deal. So this is the same uh, C628 that I unboxed a little while ago. Uh, the problem was at the time it wasn't complete because the parts locomotive that was repainted into Effort of Valley number 628 needed um, uh, some components for the rear truck in order for both trucks to be uh, geared, so to speak, both trucks to actually function. So I sent it back to Aaron and he uh, fixed it on warranty, basically. And now Effort of Valley Railroad number 628 is ready to officially hit the rails uh, once I fix the stepladder in the rear. But uh, yeah, and I believe that yes that is all for this unboxing video